next is question number 2.6 <coughs> here it says how many ml of 0.1 h molar hcl are required to completely react with 1 gram of mixture 1 gram mixture of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3 containing equimolar amounts of both so here the question is you need to find out how many ml are there when you how many ml of HCl is there when you react when you completely react one gram mixture of both of this where both are equimolar quantity so here first we will write that total mixture of Na2CO3 and NaH CO3 is how much 1 gram that's what is mentioned over here that the mixture is the total mixture of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3 is 1 gram now of that let the amount of Na2CO3 be x gram we don't know how much is there of Na2CO3 in 1 gram so we're writing it as x gram therefore therefore amount of NaHCO3 is how much from this and this you will get amount of NaHCO3 so that is 1 gram minus x gram 1 gram is mixture x gram is for Na2CO3 now next one is since you're talking about molar and all you will need to calculate somewhere number of moles so here will write that number of moles of Na2CO3 is what is the formula for number of moles number of moles is given mass by molar mass now given mass is here x grams for Na2CO3 molar mass we can calculate so let's calculate the molar mass for Na2CO3 how will we calculate number of atoms of Na into atomic mass of Na which is 23 plus number of atoms of carbon into atomic mass of carbon plus number of atoms of oxygen into atomic mass of oxygen when we simplify this 23 into 2 will be 46 plus 12 plus 16 into 3 is 48 simplify this you will get 106 gram per mole substitute this in the equation here so we can say number of moles of Na2CO3 is equal to given mass over here is x so x grams by molar mass is 106 so 106 gram per mole gram and gram will get cancelled and this is going to be your equation number one same thing we'll do with NaHCO3 so we can write over here number of moles of NaHCO3 equals again given mass by molar mass given mass is there already 1 gram minus x gram molar mass we can calculate so we can write NaHCO3 number of atoms of Na is 1 into atomic mass of Na is 23 plus number of atoms of hydrogen is 1 into atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 plus number of atoms of carbon is 1 into atomic mass of carbon 12 plus number of atoms of oxygen is 3 into atomic mass of oxygen is 16 so when we calculate all of this we will get 84 gram per mole when we substitute it over here given mass is 1 minus x gram divided by molar mass is here 84 grams per mole gram and gram will get cancelled this is our equation number two 
Now what we can do is we can equate equation number 1 and equation number 2. Let's equate both of this. So we'll write here x, gra x by 106, 106 mole equals here 1 minus x by 84 mole. Mole inverse will become mole. Now in this uh, what we'll do is we can cross multiply this. So 84 into x and this into this. So let's cross multiply this equation. So when you cross multiply this, this will be 84x is equal to 106 into 1 minus x. So here 84x is equal to 106 minus 106x. Put the terms which has x on one side. So this will be 106 equals 84x minus 84x plus 106x. 106 will be 84 plus 106 will be 109x. Now in this case, x is equal to 106 by 109. This will give you 0 0.558. So this is your x value. Now what you will do? You will put back the x value in number in this amount to know what is the amount of um, what is the number of moles for each of them. <coughs> so here we will substitute these values in these equations to find out the number of moles. So here we can write that number of moles of Na2CO3 equals what is the equation x by 106 x value is here so that is 0 0.558 divided by 106 here your answer is going to be 0 0.00526 moles shift your decimal to one non-zero digit so it's 5.26 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles this is the number of moles for Na2CO3. Similarly, we can also find the number of moles for NaHCO3 also. Let's do that and see. So for that, you can write down over here. Number of moles of NaHCO3 is equal to 1 minus x. So 1 minus x values here. 0 0.558 divided by 84. So when you solve this, you will get 0 0.00526 moles, which is equal to 5.26 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. So if you see number of moles of NaHCO3 and Na2CO3 both are same. You got them same. Now we need to calculate how many volume, how many ml of this is required when both are a molar. So for that we can write over here. Right when you write down the equation. Alright. So when you write down the equation for each of this reacting with HCl. We have Na2CO3 plus HCl give it Na2CO3 plus HCl. HCl will give NaCl plus CO2 plus H2O. They are not balanced because Na is 2 and Na is 1 here. So if I put 2 over here, I have to put 2 here also. Now the equation is balanced. Similarly, reaction with NaHCO3 plus HCl will give NaCl plus CO2 plus H2. Now these two equations. Now as per the equation, 1 mole of Na2CO3 reacts 
with how many moles of HCl as per the equation one mole will react with two moles so we can write that two moles of HCl similarly when we do for NaHCO3 we can say that one mole of NaHCO3 reacts with as per the equation how many moles are they reacting with only with one mole so we can write one mole of HCl all right so here <coughs> total moles of HCl how much is it three because both of these are equimolar a mixture of both should react with HCl as per the question so when I mix both how many moles of HCl are required three moles so now I can write over here that total moles of HCl required to react with a mixture of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3 equals total number of moles of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3 is how much we just calculated both are same that is 5.26 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles but this has to react with how many moles of HCl 3 moles totally over here so that's into 3 so when I simplify this, I will be getting 15.78 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles. This is the total number of moles of HCl. Now, we say that what do you mean by this 0.1 molar HCl? What is the meaning of it? So we can write that 0.1 molar HCl means means 0.1 moles of HCl present in 1 liter of solution. Either you can write 1 liter or in brackets you can mention 1000 ml because most of our calculation will be in ml. So if 0.1 molar is present in well, 0.1 molar of these many moles are present in 1000 ml of this therefore these many moles of 0.1 HCl is present in x ml so we just have to do unitary method now all right so we can write over here that 0.1 molar HCl in the case of this in writing means as per the question 15.78 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles of HCl present in x ml of solution so now you need to find out that x so what do you do cross multiply them so when you cross multiply them you will have 0.1 mole into 0.1 mole into 0.1 moles 0.1 molar into xml equals this 1000 ml into 0.1 molar into 15.78 10 to the power minus 3 moles all right find out x so x is equal to x ml is equal to 1000 ml into 0.1 molar into 15.78 10 to the power minus 3 moles by 0.1 mole into 0.1 molar 0.1 and 0.1 will get cancelled mole and mole will get cancelled remaining 1000 into 15.78 divided by 0 
will give 157800 into this 10 to the power minus 3 ml. Unit is ml over here. If I try to shift my decimals over here by just taking out this scientific notation, I will get 157.8 ml. This much of HCl is required when the solution has to completely react with a mixture of sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate.